Hi guys, this is Aniela from Prepped and Polished. Thanks for joining us today. We are going to be talking about Google Docs organization for school. Oftentimes you will get tons of Google Docs shared with you or you create new things every single day and keeping those things organized is gonna be really important to keeping track of them and being able to find them easily when you need to. So the number one thing you're gonna to wanna to do is title everything. Every document when first created comes untitled and we oftentimes leave them untitled. This is a mistake because when you go to search for it, you're gonna have 17, 25, et cetera, documents that are all untitled and being able to find what you actually wanna work on is going to be very difficult and time consuming. So make sure that you title every single one of your documents and make them relevant. Don't just say John Smith one, John Smith two. Make it relevant to the subject and to the actual task that you're asked to be completed. The second thing you're wanna, gonna wanna do is create folders in your Google Doc. I recommend doing folders by year because every single year you start a different grade. So you might do freshman year or you might do 2017 to 2018. Either way, it's fine as long as it's easily identifiable to you. I would say in terms of past years, just let the past years roll into the past. Create one for the one that you're in currently and then keep using them going forward. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is then by subject. Go into that year and create a subject folder for each different class that you have. English, history, bio, etc. Color code these folders so that they're really easily identifiable when you're trying to drag and drop documents into them and you don't have to think about it. Pink is always bio and your brain's gonna remember that and you can just drag and drop any bio homework or assignments into that folder quickly and easily. <laughs>